welcome friends you are watching chemistry lover and uh, we were discussing about the oxidizing agents and in general the reagent chemistry so in the previous video i discussed about the oxidation of alcohols with the chromium reagents and the remaining part i will discuss in this video so let's start today's topic so in this video i will be talking about several other uh, oxidizing agents except the chromium reagents namely the reagents of manganese then uh, silver carbonate and then desmartin par iodate tempo these type of reagents i will discuss in detail so let's start first start with the manganese reagents so uh, if we consider the oxidizing agents of the manganese the potassium permanganate the kmno4 it is a very uh, strong oxidizing agent but its very high reactivity is the reason that's why it is not used generally for organic reactions because uh, due to its high reactivity it is very much less selective while doing the reactions and due to this low selectivity uh, there is very less use of this particular reagent instead we can use another oxidizing agent of chromium which is the uh, tetravalent manganese and this is mno2 so manganese dioxide is a very important uh, oxidizing agent in organic chemistry and it oxidizes your primary and secondary alcohol to your uh, aldehyde and ketone and there is no a hazard of over oxidation that in, uh, in uh, we have seen that in case of chromium reagents the primary alcohols are oxidized uh, at at uh, at the last uh, to the carboxylic acid group but in this case there is no such possibility it will only stop after the uh, carbonyl stage so uh, what is the reaction is basically so the reaction is when you have a primary or secondary alcohol and use mno2 you will get the corresponding carbonyl compound but in this case one thing you have to remember is that normal alcohols uh, that is saturated alcohols they are not react uh, reactive enough with this particular oxidizing oxidizing agent instead you have to use allylic or benzylic alcohol for example if you have benzylic alcohol like this then it will be readily oxidized in presence of mno2 to corresponding aldehyde or if you have uh secondary alcohol you will get ketone or if you have allylic alcohol then also it will do so that means we can select chemo selectively oxidize allylic or benzylic alcohol in presence of other alcohol so this is nicely explained in this particular example you can see if you oxidize this particular compound with mno2 what you will get is only this particular alcohol group will be oxidized because you can see this alcohol group is allylic alcohol you have another two alcohol groups there and they will not be reacted in this particular uh, reaction condition if you use chromium reagent you cannot do this selectivity so this is a very important application of manganese oxidizing agent to oxidize allylic alcohol in preference of any other alcohol so these are the main reactions of the manganese oxidizing agents another application of the manganese oxidizing agent is that let's say you have an allylic alcohol which has a particular configuration for example in this case we take this trans alcohol like this trans allylic alcohol and you oxidize it with mno2 so it will basically give you this trans aldehyde right so so what is the uh, outcome of this reaction is that uh, for this particular reaction no isomerization will take place if you use other oxidizing ag agents uh, in acidic or basic medium then isomerization of this uh, double bond is possible that in the product you can get either trans or cis or the mixture of both but if you use this manganese dioxide instead there is no possibility of isomerization and you will get the trans uh, uh, aldehyde starting from the trans isomer whereas if you have your uh, starting material as cis then you will get the cis product so there is no hazard for the isomerization and another uh, if you do if you want to take this reaction further you can add uh, cyanide anion in your reaction medium for example hcn you can add and if you add hcn so first it will form the cyanohydrin like this and in presence of this manganese oxidizing agent mno2 this will further oxidized to this 
carboxylic acid oxidation state and then if you have alcohol in your reaction medium so it will basically give you the ester okay so this is how you can get a very high yield of ester using the cyanide anion and alcohol with this MnO2 oxidizing agent. In this case, the yield is generally 90% above 90%. So this is a very important compound, and uh, in this case, you can see the double bond. The configuration of the double bond is retained throughout the reaction. Now these are the useful reactions of the manganese reagents. Now let us talk about now the silver carbonate reagent. So silver carbonate Ag2CO3, this is another very important oxidizing agent and it is generally used uh, over the support of silite. Okay, so this is a very mild oxidizing agent, it is a neutral, uh, almost neutral oxidizing agent and this is selective for the oxidation of secondary alcohol and also your allylic and benzylic alcohol. Uh, so the order of reactivity for this silver carbonate oxidizing agent is so, uh, benzylic or allylic, this will react fastest, then your secondary, it is very important, and then primary. So, generally, uh, you know that primary, any primary uh, compounds, primary alcohol or primary alkaloid, they react faster over secondary, but this is the exception for uh, silver carbonate reagent. The secondary alcohol oxidizes faster than the primary alcohol and this is seen by this particular, ex uh, sorry, uh, this is seen by one particular example which is let's say you have a compound like this where you have a secondary alcohol here and have a primary alcohol group here and you react this compound with AgCO3, Ag2CO3 uh, over silite so you will end up with this ketone and you, this alcohol group will be unreacted. You cannot do this reaction with any other oxidizing agent. You have to either protect this alcohol group or you have to do some other thing. But in this case, you can directly oxidize the secondary alcohol which is generally less reactive in presence of primary alcohol. So this is a very important application of this uh, silver uh, carbon reagent. And also it oxidizes sterically less hindered alcohols more readily over so uh, there is a conflict that uh, you can think secondary alcohol is sterically more hindered than primary alcohol still it is reduced uh, oxidizing the secondary alcohol in presence of primary alcohol but this has nothing to do with so if you if you increase the steric hindrance much more so secondary is okay but if you add more groups here then it will not react with this uh, 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 silver carbonate reagent for example in this case you can see this alcohol is sterically hindered than this alcohol because it has this all these groups around this alcohol so that's why when you react this compound with silver carbonate only this group will be oxidized and this uh, hydroxyl group will be unreacted so this is one application of this silver carbonate and another example is here you can see if you uh, react this particular compound with silver carbonate uh, this allylic position will be oxidized and you will have a CO group here so this OH group will be unreacted so these are the selective reactions of the silver carbonate so you have to just remember that benzylic or allylic will give the fastest reaction then secondary and then primary and you also have to remember that if the steric hindrance is much more then it may be secondary but and in this case you can see both are secondary so that's why we have to think about the steric hindrance in more depth and we can see that this is sterically more hindered than this that's, that's why this will not be reacted and it will only react so these are the important reaction of uh, silver carbonate okay then uh, we have further oxidizing agents like so uh, in, uh, while we are discussing about the manganese uh, oxidizing agents we told that uh, the normal saturated alcohol like this normal secondary alcohol it will not react with your MnO2 uh, its reaction will be very slow but if you add some uh, transition metal catalyst for example ruthenium uh, ruthenium plus 2 uh, is complex you can find the examples in book any complex of ruthenium plus 2 you can add ruthenium chloride uh, like this then the reaction will be accelerated and you will be able to oxidize this secondary alcohol so this is uh, one important uh, catalytic activity of this ruthenium which is mixed with manganese dioxide to uh, utilize this reactivity now uh, these are the reactions of manganese and uh, silver carbonate
so another important reaction of the silver carbonate is with uh, the diols for example you have this diol this is the example from caruthers let's say you have two oh groups here so this is a diol although it is not uh, the vicinal diol but it is a diol and if you react this compound with agco3 so only one alcohol group will be oxidized both of this alcohol group will not be oxidized only one will be oxidized and you will have aldehyde here and this alcohol group will be unreacted so now this alcohol can attack here to give you this compound so you will have this cyclized product here you will have this OH and this now after that uh, in presence of this AgCO3, Ag2CO3 it can further oxidize to give you this lactone you can see this lactone you will get after the final reaction this is one reaction so uh, whenever you have suitable diol you will end up with lactone and another important example of this type of reaction is that you can see if you have these two alcohols let's say you have these two alcohols so you can see now uh, this is allylic alcohol and this is not allylic alcohol and I already told that allylic alcohol shows greater reactivity with this silver carbonate reagent than normal alcohol so only this alcohol group will be oxidized and you will have uh, this CO group here now your this alcohol can attack here and after two steps you will get one two three four five so you will get a five membered ring over here like this so this product you will get exclusively in this case no oxidation of this group will take place only this group will oxidize due to its allylic uh, position now these are the reactivities of your uh, silver carbonate reagent and the manganese reagent and uh, then if we consider if we uh, talk about other oxidizing and there are several other oxidizing agents for, for example this martin par iodate dmp this is basically a hypervalent iodine uh, hypervalent oxidizing agent of iodine desmartin par iodate uh, if you want uh, detailed discussion on this desmartin par iodate I will make another video let me know in the comment section but basically what it do is that it uh, uh, oxidize primary or secondary alcohol very fast to corresponding carbonyl compound so in this case uh, again you have to remember that you will get only the uh, aldehyde or ketone no over reaction will take place and in some cases you can selectively let's say you have one uh, primary alcohol and another secondary alcohol and in some cases it is possible to use the dmp desmartin par iodate to react only the primary alcohol and the secondary alcohol will be unreacted so this is the important uh, reactions of the dmp and it is a uh, it is it, it uh, you have to use only catalytic amount of dmp you don't uh, have to use the stoichiometric amount so this is uh, one plus point of using this DMP oxidizing agent then after that uh, there are other oxidizing agents like uh, Tempo Tempo is a very useful oxidizing agent and uh, these Tempo oxidizing agents are uh, basically based on this structure where you have this uh, let's say tetramethyl ammonium oxide so this is one uh, important oxidizing agent and these oxidizing agents are basically their role are same as uh, with DMP they can oxidize your uh, primary alcohol in presence of secondary alcohol so let's say this is your compound so in this case uh, only your primary alcohol will be oxidized and secondary alcohol will be unreacted and also uh, they are very useful in oxidizing the allylic positions and in all these cases you will not get carboxylic acid that is the good news that you will not get carboxylic acid the reaction you can stop up to the uh, aldehyde or keto stage so these are some important uh, oxidizing agents and then uh, after that you can get other oxidizing agents like uh, the swan oxidation you know uh, the secondary alcohol for the secondary alcohol it is a very useful reaction the swan oxidation basically uh, oxaloyl chloride oxaloyl chloride in presence of DMSO and uh, DCM solvent DCM is used as solvent so you will get your ketone here so this is a very useful oxidation method for the oxidation of secondary alcohol another uh, reagent is DCC with this oxaloyl chloride in, uh, instead of oxaloyl chloride you can also use DCC dicyclohexyl uh, dicarboxylate 
this is called Moffat oxidation. This is uh, same like Swan oxidation, but the reagent is slightly different. And uh, actually, this re reaction is not used nowadays. Only the Swan oxidation is used. So these are important uh, oxidation reactions. And I discuss I discuss this Swan oxidation in detail in my uh, another video. You can watch that video. So then uh, another oxidation method is the Meroin part of Harley or MPV reduction oxidation. MPV basically MPV reduction or open your oxidation but in this case the oxidizing agent or reducing agent is basically ice, aluminium isopropoxide isopropoxide aluminium isopropoxide is the oxidizing agent and that reaction goes through a cyclic uh, chair like intermediate or cyclic form so you can see let's say this is your uh, so let's say you have this aluminium uh, in isopropoxide so it will be like this you have here this uh, hydrogen and your keto group will be here so this is how this redu oxidation reduction reaction takes place so in this case one partner will be reduced and another partner you can see this is oxidized so which alcohol you want to oxidize that you have to couple with this aluminum instead of aluminum isopropyl, uh, isopropoxide you have to use that alcohol for example you want to uh, oxidize this particular alcohol let's say this particular alcohol so this is uh, this alcohol you have to bind with aluminum and uh, when it will react you can see you will get this oxidized product uh, out of this so this is one important uh, oxidizing agent and uh, the base part of this um, open your oxidation is that if you have a double bond in your uh, substrate let's say allylic alcohol so this double bond will be unreacted because if you uh, look at the mechanism only this part is involved in the reaction so the double bond will be unaffected so this is a chemoselective oxidation so these are the main oxidizing agents of the uh, for the alcohol oxidation and there are several other reagents which are not so important and uh, after discussing all the important reagents which are important for your exam point of view or real use then if I get time I will obviously discuss the other oxidizing agents but uh, this video I am stopping here and in the next video I will discuss about the oxidation of the carbon carbon multiple bond so if you are new in this channel then don't forget to subscribe my channel and press the bell icon and if you if you like this video then give a thumbs up and share this video with, with your friends and uh, thank you for watching